It's just a great movie. And essential. <laughs> Now we don't give anything away if we talk about it, but the great value, I think, of this film is that it's so scary, but you don't ever see anything. It's all in your imagination of what, what those causing those noises out in the hallway and all the strange things going on. So you're not seeing some monster with, you know, all kinds of makeup on uh, coming, crashing through a door or something. But I didn't want to take that away from people maybe expecting that to happen. And you don't have those like jump out at you right. scares. There's this great uh, arena in Los Angeles where they show films at a giant, giant cemetery. Yes. And thousands of people go every weekend, sometimes four and 5,000 people. It's really an incredible gathering. And I've seen everything from Halloween to Beetlejuice to The Haunting I uh -huh. saw there. Um, and, and it wasn't a film that made people scream or jump out of their seats, but it just has that eeriness. Mm -hmm. And I don't find it necessarily as scary as some other films. This one doesn't make me, you know, go home regretting that I saw it, uh, uh, unlike some other films. Right. But I think the cinematography and the performances and the cleverness, and again, seeing Robert Wise, who made all these other types right. of movies, but yes, came from the Val Luton School, um, I, I loved seeing this in the body of his work, and um, and and it's important to people. Yeah. Any other particularly scary movies that you're fond of? Well, Robert Wise's Audrey Rose, right. The Changeling, Halloween, um, The Shining. Oh, I mean, it's funny. I never think of that as a scary movie, but it's just the most terrifying movie ever. Yep, The Shining would be... We should do that for The Essentials. I mean, if there ever was an essential, it's that. I really enjoy films that ruin my life. However, I don't run out to them very often because I really do get scared by them. What's your favorite scary movie? I think The Uninvited would be mine. Okay. Yeah, I really like it. It's so intelligently done. It creates a great mood. And it doesn't fake anything because there really are ghosts and you see the ghosts and they're, the way they're done is so imaginative. That's good. So Ray Milland, Ruth Hussey, Donald Crisp and Gail Russell, 1944. So here's a sneak peek at the film we have for you next week on The Essentials. The Dirty Dozen, 1967. Although this is a masculine war story, I think it transcends gender lines. This is the movie that really cemented Lee Marvin as a star. Kelly Savalas is a bucket of crazy in this movie. Robert Aldridge directed some really interesting movies, but Dirty Dozen is, I think, his best. From 1967, The Dirty Dozen. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, medium Roddy McDowell returns for round two against The Legend of Hell House. Then Heather O'Rourke announces they're here in Poltergeist. And revenge isn't the only thing at stake in Death by Invitation. Experience New York as seen in the movies aboard the TCM Classic Film Sightseeing Tour in partnership with On Location Tours. A knowledgeable guide will conduct the fact-filled excursion that spans over 60 movies, stopping at several familiar locations for exploration and photo opportunities throughout Manhattan. For more information, visit tcm.com tours or call 1-855-TCM-7887.